Yo, what's good, y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, and please share so we can continue to keep on growing, man. It's your boy, JP. Welcome back to the channel for those of you guys who are new and for those of you guys who've been rocking with me since day one or even yesterday, man. You are part of the gang. Welcome back. Today's video, man, we're going to be talking about something very, very, very important as a student athlete. And we're going to be talking about three things that you need to stay away from. All right. Three huge things that you have to stay away from. You could be, bro, you could be, you could be LeBron James for all I care in high school. But if some grades are not up and if you acting stupid, you will not have no playing time. You will not be on the team. You will not travel on the team. Instead of a uniform, you might not even, you might not, even, bro, you might not even be on the bench. So we're going to be talking about something very important. It's going to be three huge things that you have to stay away from. And number one, numero uno is going to be bad slash negative people. In life, bro, there's a whole bunch of positive people and there's a whole bunch of negative people. And just like myself as i continue to grow and stuff like that i try my best to stay off of social media you know i love being able to keep up with my you know favorite artists or my favorite players or keeping up with who dunked on who who got crossed up and stuff like that you know but there's a whole bunch of junk on social media yes you choose who you follow on social media but there's always that some person who retweets something crazy or there's always that one person who adds you this weird, stupid post, you know? There's a whole bunch of negative people out here in this world. That's why I try my best to stay off of social media. And I try my best, you know, just to stay off my phone in general. Me, like, personally, myself, I don't really, you know, I'm not the type of person to just go up to, like, everybody and, you know, be all friends and, you know, stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person. To be completely honest, bro, I'm just a chill, laid back guy and I'm all business. Yeah, I like to have fun for sure, but you know, like, how should I say this? I'm not gonna be all buddy buddy with you, you know, the first time meeting you, you know? Like, I don't wanna say it, but I'm not, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, like, I only have a few friends right now. And, and honestly, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Because sometimes you might want to go somewhere with some people, you know? But if you do have a whole bunch of friends, they're going to be calling you, texting you, hey, let's go out to this place, go out to this place, that place, every single day. And if I do that every single day, I'm not going to have time for myself. I'm not going to have time to invest in myself. So it's great for you to always stick with positive people. Somebody that's always positive, that has an optimistic mindset. Let's say you got your ankles broken. He's like, it's all good, bro. Get up. Let's go. Let's, let's go lock him up. You got dunked on. He says, oh, it's, it's all good, bro. Let's get back on D. Now, it's okay. They're going to joke on you. Talk about you got dunked on. They're going to joke on you. I understand that. But if it's a guy just talking negatively down to you, then you don't want to be, you should not be around him. Don't be around him. And I know some of you guys are young, so you guys want to be friends with everybody you know. Maybe even the best player on the team. Maybe, maybe the best player on your team right now, he might be a negative person. But since he's so good, you want to go and be buddy-buddy with him. You want to be friends with him. I'm saying this now, and I'm telling you this now. No, don't do it. Make him respect you. If he's negative, don't approach him. Stay away from him. Positive energy goes a long way. You are who you hang around with. So if you're going to hang around negative people, eventually the negativity, it will creep up on you. And little by little... You're, you're gonna start to have terrible, bad thoughts. So it's a must 
please stay away from negative people and try to stick with the positive people in your life. All right, number two, number two, number two, dose, dose, dose. We're going to be talking about drugs. Now, once again, I understand I got a younger audience right now. So some of you guys are in school and I understand that I have also an older audience, right? Of course, the older audience is more mature. I hope sometimes, hey, some sometimes the younger people be more mature than the adults nowadays sometimes. But that's something different. But, bro, please, 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 please stay away from drugs do not try to get your hand on drugs do not try to smoke pot do not try to do cocaine stop don't don't try to do no vape pens stay away from the drugs if you really want to play this game at a high level they will drug test you you know not only that if you get caught with marijuana at your school you know how deep you'll be in trouble with you know how, you know how uh, you know how bad that's gonna look on you you're not only letting yourself down but you're letting your team down as well if you are on the team and if anything if your coach finds out that you're selling drugs that you're doing drugs he's not gonna want you on the team bro don't do it please don't do it especially selling drugs do not please do not sell drugs if you notice man we have a whole bunch of great hoopers out here in this world that we live in even if you go to the park there's always that one crackhead that shows up and just starts hooping out of nowhere you'd be like hey he's actually not bad but he does drugs and you start to think how come he didn't get no scholarship well, the drugs. If they find out that you're selling drugs and you're associated with negative people who sells drugs and stuff like that, they're not going to want to sign you. They're not going to want to give you that scholarship, man. Stay away from the drugs. Do not, please, please, please. A whole bunch of careers have ended because people have been messing around with the wrong people and they got themselves in big trouble with drugs yes even even in school right now even myself I was in a position where yeah I used to hang around a group of people who did drugs smoke weed had some weed brownies you know if there was a fight in the restroom my butt would be in there you know what I'm saying I got my camera ready recording the fight and stuff like that but bro that's just plain childish, man. Like, it, it really is, man. You know? <laughs> I mean, thinking about it now, it's funny. You know? It's funny, but it's like, it's just real childish, man. Because somebody could be selling drugs in the bathroom, and you walk in there at the very wrong time. They might flip the script and put it on you. I wish, I wish that upon nobody. But hey, stuff like that has happened before. So please just try to stay away from the drugs, man. They're not that good. They're not good in general. I said they're not that good. It's not good in general, especially cigarettes. Please, please, please do not smoke cigarettes, please. Now, the government is so crooked inside my heart. We, we were always taught, you know, marijuana is bad right but I don't know man like you guys like I'm not gonna say it but you, the government the world is crazy man the government is crazy the government wants to control each and every one of us they try to tell us lies every single time they come up with fake murderers they come up with fake shootings and stuff like that so it's crazy to try to believe the government they're trying to put GMO in our foods but I'm on a whole different topic right now but just know this government is crazy so what you could do man is just continue to focus on yourself mentally physically and spiritually 
Because this world that we live in right now, we're not supposed to be here. Heaven is the main goal, you know? Trust me. Do I love it down here? Bro, I love it down here, you know? I, lo I love life down here. Yes, there are some negative downsides, but I love life down here. But we're not supposed to be here. But while I'm down here, I'm going to try to reach out to as many people as I can and continue to motivate you guys and continue to help you guys out on and off the court. But I just got into something very deep, but I won't go no further. Maybe in another video. So uh, let's get to number three. Let's, 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 let's. Number three, number three, number three, Chris Paul, number three. It's gonna be procrastination. If you don't know what procrastination means, procrastination basically means saying, oh, I'm gonna go work out tomorrow. But once tomorrow comes, like, nah, I'll do it the next day. But once the next day comes, nah, I'll do it on Friday. But once Friday comes, nah, I'll, I'll do it on Sunday. And it's just a whole cycle like this. It's gonna keep going. So you might be in January now, and once the summer comes in July, you're gonna be like, why am I still, why am I still hooping the same? Why am I still the same person? Why am I still the same player? It's because you're procrastinating. Don't procrastinate. If you wanna get something done, get it done now. You know? Now let's be honest though. You might get motivated 11 o'clock at night and you're like, okay, I want to start working out. Like going hard, serious. I want to start going hard. Now, some people will actually go to the gym that same night. And if so, hey, that's what's up. But some people will take action the next day. And that's okay, that's fine. As long as you plan and you're saying, okay, no more games. Let's go now. Let's do it. Stop procrastinating. Get in the gym ASAP as soon as you can. If you miss a day, it's okay. Move on to the next day. Let's get back in the lab. Let's get back to work. You might want to become... You might be the best player on your team right now. So whenever you finish practicing with your team... Usually you might go home and practice on your own, but you're gonna be like, I'm the best on the team. I don't, I have no reason to practice. <laughs> and that guy that's on your team who you think that sucks, fast forward a few years later, you're gonna see him, who knows? You're gonna see him on the AAU circuit and he's gonna be balling out. He's gonna be crossing you over hitting shots all on you, and you're gonna be like, that's the same kid that was a scrub on the bench like a few years ago? Yeah, because my man that was on the bench, he was putting in the work while you were procrastinating saying, oh no, I'm, I ain't gonna work out today, you know? Don't, don't be that idiot, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. You may be good now, but if you keep on waiting and waiting and procrastinating, that person you think that sucks right now, he's gonna catch up to you. He's gonna catch up to you. And if he's really serious, he will pass you. So you, yourself, you, yourself, need to get back in the gym and work hard consistently on a daily basis. That's going to end the video, man. Please be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, share, and be sure to continue to share the channel and share the content. This was a serious video, guys. Please take these three things and run with it. I'm being serious with all three things that I just stated. This is very important. All right. It's your boy, JP, man. I hope you guys have a great day. Let's get to it.